you know, I thought, uh, you know, we, we, with our depth, we used it, we wanted to play 24 feet, 94 feet, and we felt like that we needed to do that. We were playing against the zone, and we really, like normal, we haven't spent a lot of time uh, playing against the zone because we've been working really hard trying to be the defensive team we want to be. And so this was really good for us. Uh, I think Coach Benson does a great job in his matchup zone. And, Throughout the game, they were uh, doing some different things. What we didn't do in the first half was put the ball inside. We were on pace to shoot, what, 53s. And, and uh, I'm not saying any of them were bad shots, but they would have loved for us to shoot 53s. And uh, we wanted to, when you look at the difference in the shooting percentage in the first half and second half, it shows you what to put the ball inside can do for you. Uh, overall, I think the effort was, was pretty good. But one thing I wanted to see, or we wanted to see as a staff, was concentration. And when uh, we got a little upset, it was because of that. You know, guys thinking the game's over, looking at the scoreboard. And I think this time of year is so critical to develop great mental discipline and habits. And, um, again, there were some good things. Uh, and again, one of the good things was, you know, we've only worked against the zones really just a couple of days. And uh, I thought that the in game adjustments that the players made were really good. There were some good things uh, happened. I thought that uh, uh, James Daniel uh, played probably better than where we thought he was. Uh, Kyle, again, has had a couple of really good days in practice. I think he's starting to understand exactly what he needs to do. And Jordan Bowen uh, definitely is an improved player, but he, he, he's the one guy that I'm talking about concentration. His has got to be at a high level for every single possession. And I think when I took him out and got on him, and I will continue to do that because he was trying to get a rat a shot when he should have been running the offense and understanding what we're trying to develop. And that's again goes back to mental toughness and concentration. But uh, uh, again, there were some teams want to get more comfortable with Grant. I thought uh, did some good things, and uh, but uh, overall, uh, we got, it was a good night for us. We got some work done that we need to get done, and, uh, but now we. Uh, get a chance to play again Sunday, which I think is a great thing to do that. And, uh, and we'll be back here next Friday night, I think. Uh, Corey, great. Uh, Coach, uh, back on Jordan Bowman for a second. He had another solid game in terms of distributing the ball. He had eight assists, so I believe just one turnover. What stood out most to you guys game tonight? What do you think you can improve on the next time or so? Well, what, what's impressed me about Jordan is that, uh, again, I'm really hard on him, and I will always be hard on him because I think if you're going to be – a point guard, it comes a lot of responsibility. And uh, you, you can't only think for yourself, but you got to think for your teammates. You know, he's had two games now where he had eight assists tonight, he had 11 in the Davidson scrimmage, and he's had uh, a turnover in that game and a turnover tonight, and two of them, and both turnovers were ridiculous. He shouldn't have turned it over either time. And, uh, uh, but, you know, he wants to do the right thing. He's trying, but uh, he, I've got to, I'm going to stay on it. Uh, because I don't know how well he does with compliments. I don't know. Uh, I think he, but I do think he's bought in totally trying to be the player that we want him to be. And, uh, and like I said, he's got as hard a position to play on the court as anybody. And uh, he, the question is, how good does he want to be? And we're going to find that out as we really go through this year. I know starters probably don't matter in an exhibition game, but what's the logic of bringing Grant off the bench? Is that to see what you had? I, I just honestly didn't like the way has played up to this point. Uh, and w what we need and what we've got to get, we, we've got to get some guys that aren't on a roller coaster that are up and down. You know, you got to have three or four guys that you can count on, really five. You need five guys. If you're going to start five guys every night, you've got to have a pretty good idea what they're going to do. And it goes back to practice. Are guys going to come in every day understanding that you've got to get better? And, uh, and again, I don't care. I, I mean, I mean, I told him, well, we might decide who starts right before every game. We're going to watch how guys prepare the day, you know, not just the day before, but uh, certainly getting ready the day before, the night before, the day of, because I think minutes are really valuable. And uh, I don't think anybody should think they're going to uh, have an entitlement to them. And I, I told Grant last night, I was going to tell you guys, you guys to ask him why he didn't start. And I think he would be man enough to say that he hasn't done what, what we needed to do. And, uh, but uh, again, we've got to get more guys that we know every day that it's not going to be a roller coaster. Right. Play 
I thought he did. I thought he went in. You know, he early. He ended up uh, in the first half. I'm not sure. I think most of his touches in the first half were from offensive rebounds. And uh, we think we got guys that can score the ball in there, but they can't score it. Guards don't throw it to them. And uh, but I thought he, yeah, I thought he responded well. And uh, but I, but again, uh, I mean, 18 points, 12 rebounds. That's two back to back, and no turnovers. Even though he got lucky on one. And uh, so overall, it was, uh, yeah, I think he did. But again, I, I think I could look at everybody and say there were some good things. Folks, if you think about it, that's the first time he's played since the last time he was in the building and got hurt. Uh, but uh, overall, it was good. I mean, uh, yeah, so I think, again, I don't think he responded necessarily well by coming off the bench. I just wanted to know that I'm not playing around. I mean, I want to see, we got to have three, like I said, five guys at least that can, we can count on them and uh, every day it can't be, like I said, I don't want to be on the roller coaster ride with these guys all day. Michael and Boomer and Mike. Um, okay, so, uh, just a two-part question. Um, first, uh, Adam Schofield, you mentioned that he was going to move to the wing this year. And I saw um, some parts of the game, he played uh, the power forward as well, moving him around. Is that sort of the plan for yeah, we'll use him a little, a little bit like we use Robert Hubs. What he didn't do tonight at all from the wing was uh, his his problem is he so wants to make a, a and he can he, Admiral can really shoot the ball. He, he really can shoot it, but he shoots himself into bad nights because if he misses the first one. He has a tendency to say, "I got to make one. I got to make one," as opposed to let it just come to him. And uh, but the re what he did do tonight was really uh, from the, that position rebound the ball. And uh, his offensive rebounds came from more when he was inside. We've got to have three guys, at least three, and there's times we want four guys on the offensive glass. And uh, but he didn't do that. But uh, yeah, he'll, he'll play in both. And, and it all gets back at the, offensively. We've got guys that can play in a lot of different areas. And it's going to get back to where can you guard? And um, we had 10 players, like 10 minutes. Um, just how, how far are you right now as far as lineup combinations? I don't have any combinations in mind. I'm gonna play guys. I think we've got guys. That, again, uh, I'm gonna go back to practice. And, and what what I can only tell you why guys won't play. They're sloppy. They're not concentrating. They're not playing with the effort. They're not gonna play. And uh, because I think I don't think it's fair. I, I do think our guys work really hard. As I think most teams work pretty hard, really hard. I think we, our guys work hard, but I think that they have to understand that. You've got to also think this game, and uh, you've got to know yourself. You've got to know your teammates. And uh, again, I do think that uh, I've said it before. This is the first time since we've been here that we really had depth. But that depth will be based on, you know, I mean, we didn't have Chris Darrington tonight, and I think he's going to play some minutes. And uh, but to play the way we want to play, we're going to need all of them. And we've been through it now two years where. Injuries have come into play, and I said, if you've got the depth that we think we need, we should be able to survive an injury here, an injury there, and it goes back again to understanding that we work, and again, these guys work for 40, 41 opportunities a year, and they can't let any of them, I don't care if it's an exhibition game, I don't care if it's a this scrimmage to Sunday, it's about developing winning habits, and uh, Understand again. We don't. We don't have a guy in the program to understand what it takes to play at the very to win at the very highest level, and so, and that's no excuse. But we've got to understand it. We develop that in practice every day, and and so every guy's got to realize that we're going to need everybody, and and uh, can be no letdown. Finish up with Boomer, then Mike, and then Coach uh, James Daniel played the most minutes out of anybody tonight. I know he got a little bit of a late break because of his injury that he was dealing with. But how is he transitioning along with the rest of the guards there? And what specifically has impressed you about him besides the score? Well, I, I'll tell you, uh, last night in our team meeting, I, I actually said that, that uh, I wasn't, I'm not happy with where he was. He wasn't transitioning very well. But I thought he was probably the biggest surprise tonight uh, in terms of I thought he had great command of himself. Uh, and again, he's learning to play a whole different game. He, uh, where is he? That's the. Uh, Six shots, I guarantee it is a career low for him from his time at Highland. 
And uh, he's a guy that, uh, as a coaching staff, he's a guy that when he gets a good look at it and shoots a rhythm shot, we think he's our best open shooter. And uh, but he's learning to do things that and play a way that he's never played before. And what he did tonight, he, defensively, he was he was good. I thought he I thought he did a good job with that. Uh, Again, he had no turnovers, and that's not what we've seen in practice because he's tried to get him, he's got himself in too many. And so coming in tonight, to be quite honest with you, we weren't sure where we were with our guards. I'm still not sure totally, but we need our guard play to be really good. And uh, tonight, I thought his poise and his demeanor, uh, again, I, I would say from a coaching standpoint, he was a guy that, uh, and he needs to play. Because so you're right, he's only been back at it for about a month. And so, uh, but the reason he played tonight, we just like this, again, like Jordan Bone probably would have played more, but we made that play and had a little bit of an attitude about it. He ain't playing anymore. It's plain and simple. And in, in the past, they could do that. They could do that. Not, they're not doing it now. Because we're going we're gonna to carry ourselves the way winning teams need to carry themselves all the time. And uh, so I think that with him, he does it now. We got to get Lamonte playing at a level that he can. And his problem is, again, concentration. Like he had that turnover there where he was not playing the game. He was playing the scoreboard, and and then we get Darrington back. Our guards, we're going to get them there, but they're all just like our post guys. They're going to understand every possession counts. Kind of touched on earlier, but getting John Fulkerson back, how nice was that for you? Um, and then what's the next step for him as he returns to the team? Well, I didn't know until somebody told me they wanted him to play around 15 minutes. What did he play? Uh, Ten. 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 Somebody, I didn't even know that. But I, again, he, he, he's only been clear until about really totally clear for, I think, what, a week and a half? Like that, maybe? No, that. no more than that. You know, Derek's been out for a couple weeks. Uh, I thought he got tired, but Folky uh, got to get himself back in shape. He got he got to play more, and uh, he'll figure he'll get it back. There's no doubt he'll get it back. But um, again, he's only really had a, a week and a half of it um, where he's been able to go at it. Derek, like I said, he missed up to two weeks with the concussion that he, he missed, and so and we've had some injuries and ankles that we've had to work through, but. Uh, I like I, I like our team. I do. I, I really I love these guys, but I want more for them. And I think they might see right now, and uh, and I and I think my job is to make them realize that what we want doesn't come easy. There's a, there's a heavy price you got to pay for it, and that's every day. And we we're not there yet. And uh, and that really gets down to one one word: toughness. Coach, with your roster this year, do you think you might have more opportunities to press with some certain lineups this year? Yeah, we can. And, you know, we, we, the way we played tonight uh, defensively, we, we did that uh, in the Davidson scrimmage as well. But uh, we haven't really added a lot of trapping to it. Like I said, we haven't even worked on uh, a lot of uh, zone offense or defense, really, because we really want to be a good man-to-man -man team in the half court. But we also think that with our depth, we can extend our defense. And just again, we just want to be there. We just want to be down there making people have to deal with it. Uh, but eventually we can uh, do some of that. But I, I still know that we trying to, we're trying to work some guys in. We still are young in some areas. But I, I know we've got to be better defensively. And uh, so we have spent a lot of time with our man-to-man -man defense and trying to rebound and help each other, trying to learn how to, you know, X out when we have to. A lot, of, a lot that goes into it. But um, hopefully, eventually, we will get to that. And uh, I don't think it's that hard. Uh, but again, I'm, I'm thinking of the way we ended the half. Just those kind of laws is where we got, we got to, we got to get those fixed before we can really get more added to it. I think. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.